my studying really paid off, your girl passed her test. Hey y'all, welcome to another video. Welcome to another week in the life of a nursing student, period. It's your girl, Michaela Lynn. And if you're new here to my channel, welcome to my channel i hope you love it here go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of this wonderful family like we lit over here y'all we real lit um and if you return a subscriber welcome back to my channel thank you so much for you both of um watching my videos and supporting me here yet we only up from here um like i said this is another weekend of life video happy monday i am on my way to class right now i have scrubs on because i have clinical today also um but i'm going to class right now from 9 to 11 it's my community class and then i have clinical from now my phone is dropping hold on and i have clinical from one to four for a uh, community also um we're going to this place where we basically like doing community work and um like volunteer work it's kind of like preparing meals but we're not doing that specific thing today so um i'm sorry i'm trying to keep y'all up so um i have that from once to four um but in the meantime like between that time i'm gonna go back home let my dog out all like that but um we have a day oh my god i'm gonna just hold the phone because this is ridiculous <laughs> we have a day today um like i said i have class I have clinical and I also need to study for my exam because it's exam week y'all it's my first med surge exam tomorrow um I'm low-key kind of I don't know I'm kind of excited because <laughs> that sounds so weird but I'm kind of excited because like I've been studying all this stuff or whatever um and now it's time to put it into action of seeing if I know the information and you know all like that I don't know I just ever since all that happened uh, last semester of me barely barely passing and almost not making it to the next semester I just have a different outlook and a different perspective when it comes to nursing school so it's like I don't nag and be negative like I used to of saying oh my god we have classes that we doing too much like they have us doing too much I don't even those those type of that type of attitude don't even come out of my mouth anymore and i think it's because like i was so close of not making it over and just seeing how i made it over by the grace of god is like now i'm at the point of i'm just grateful i have like a grateful heart behind nursing and nursing school because i know nursing school can be a lot but now it's just like i'm just grateful like <laughs> i'm just grateful and so like that reflects of how i approach different things now and i'm like very positive when it comes to nursing school even though it is a lot even though it is like a lot a lot a lot i still enjoy doing it now i don't know i guess i don't know y'all i don't know but um like i said my first exam for med search see i went on a whole tangent that wasn't even needed I, my first exam for med search is tomorrow like i said it's in the afternoon we have to be there for 12 30 so I need to study for that today also y'all been studying hard all weekend long i ain't gonna even lie all last week i was studying um but especially this weekend i have really been studying like crazy been having headaches all that um so today after clinical i'm gonna go through my study guide do some practice questions and then call it a night um so yeah so i'm gonna catch y'all later on whenever i get to class and stuff like that um, and I'll bring y'all along with me today. So I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel while you already at the beginning of the video. Period. So I'll catch y'all later on whenever I am doing something that's exciting or that I can show y'all. And I hope y'all have a wonderful Monday. And I'm sorry, this is a glare. Um, it's 8.41. I got here like at 8.35, like around that time. Y'all yeah, been on time. Don't play with me. But in the meantime, until I go into class, which I'm not getting out the car until 855. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm going to just go ahead and do a little studying, like reading over my study guide so that I can go ahead and just start doing practice questions once I get home later on. Yeah, we, you got you to gotta do what you got to do. 
if you have an iPad, take it everywhere you can. What I do is I type out, because I know a lot of people ask me, I type out my notes. So uh, they provide us, provided us with a study guide this semester for MedSearch. And what I do is I'll type out everything and then I would, I type it out on Google Docs. Then I would download it to my actual iPad. Once I download it to my iPad, um, that's when I'm able to write on everything. I go through highlight, um, I'll highlight stuff. I also like write extra stuff. So like whenever I watch a video, if I don't really understand it, it's like it's horrible. If I don't really understand it, or if I'm like, I need some, some little extra information, I'll go on YouTube and watch like Registered Nurse RN, Simple Nursing, or uh, Level Up RN. I'll watch one of those, which one, watch one of them. And then I'll be taking extra notes on the side. So this is how like my study guide looks. Let me find. So like this, let me make it a little bigger. I'm sorry, y'all, I couldn't yawn. So that's that's how it looked. Like I can sit there and write on everything. It's, everything is already typed out. I just highlight and do all that. So yeah, that's what I normally do. Then I did like some dosage calc on this. But that's what I normally do. I just go type everything out. And I try to make the font like real small because, yeah, y'all, it's a lot. I try to make the font like really small because it, I don't know, in my head, I'm like, if I don't have that many pages, then I'm not about to trip out, trip out about it. So like with this, I only have 13 pages for a whole exam, 60 question exam. So I'm like, okay, I'm good with that. Um, I make it super, super small. The font I do is 10. I do Times New Roman and I do it in the size 10. It ain't, it's small on a computer, but when, whenever you like go and read it, you see how big you can make it and write on it like that. So it's like, I'm not tripping about how small it is. It's just in my head, I feel better about it. But I'm about to go ahead and do some, um, try to read over this for a few until like 8.53, then I'll get out the car go ahead and head into class um like i said class started at nine i want i like i'm right here i got a quick, good parking spot so i'm right here i can just go through this door and i'm right there by the class so that's what i'm about to do um i catch y'all later on i'm probably not gonna record in class because it ain't nothing to record so i'll probably catch y'all after class whenever i'm about to you know do something else shift started at one we supposed to finish at four but like i said this is a community type of clinical so we're doing like more volunteer stuff um so today we just box different like foods like fruits like healthy foods um so they can go to different schools families and stuff like that and it was just so it just so happened that me and my classmates we was on it like we was helping each other out and making stuff so easy to wear we boxed everything up within like 45 minutes to an hour. So yeah, we already done. And plus my professor, well my clinical clinical instructor for this um, clinical, she was like, I know y'all have a test tomorrow, so I'm not even about to try to find like find nothing else to do, which it really wasn't. Um, so she said, go home and go study and all like that. So I'm like, bet, because when I tell y'all I have a headache, as y'all can see, I have bags in my eyes, my eyes are real puffy. I have a bad headache right now. I'm gonna go home and take a nap and get up, study, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the gym later on if I have time. But yeah, so as y'all can tell, I'm super, super tired from this whole entire day. Um, so let me go ahead home. Okay, hey y'all, so I'm at home, right? And I got a package from Amazon. And I don't know if I said in my last vlog, Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I said in my last vlog or this vlog, but basically I ordered y'all. So y'all know I do my brain dumps on my whiteboard. I go through so many dry erase markers. It's ridiculous. Like if y'all will see how many dry erase markers I've bought, used, and the ink is out, y'all be like, girl, you're a teacher. But the most important 
thing that's in this box right now is something that I'm implementing in my fitness, everyday life, um, you know, lifestyle or whatever, um, which is, well, first off, I bought some Expo markers. I already have an eraser, but I needed the skinny ones whenever I'm like writing on my calendar and then I needed some spray because I've been trying to use soap and water and I mess all my stuff up. And then I got <laughs> this variety of markers. So whenever I'm doing, you know, my brain dump and stuff like that, I can do that. But the most important thing I got in here, y'all see that? Oxy Grease, y'all, this ain't sponsored, so don't think it's sponsored. I'm going to try it out, and I'm going to for sure let y'all know. Um, but yeah, so it's Oxy Greens. It's the strawberry margarita flavor. I know they have pineapple flavor. They have forest berry, but everybody say that the strawberry margarita is the one to go to. They say it tastes just like it. <laughs> But um, it's a mix one scoop with 12 fluid ounces of cold water in a shaker. But I don't got to shake it because guess what, y'all? That's not it. I, what is this called? Hold on. Before I get it. Yeah. I don't even know what it's called. But I got me a frother. Fro frother? Frother. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The thing you push and it be like zzz, zzz, that. So I got that so I can mix it with this. And then I can also use it for I like my coffee and stuff like that. So these... These two right here, this is what I was waiting for. Like, Expo marker is cool. But this, this is what I was waiting for. So, with Oxy Greens, uh, is what it says. Like, the name is Oxy Greens, meaning that it's a scoop of greens that um, helps with, like, bloating, your immunity, and stuff like that. I struggle with bloating a lot. And with school i don't get the appropriate amount of green so i was like you know what let me just go ahead and try it i've been hearing so much so many good things about it i already like i've been knowing about this brand eph uh eph ehp what is wrong with me y'all i've been knowing about this brand ehp labs for a long time and i heard about the their uh oxy shred which i do want to try um, it's a fat burning. I ain't got a lot of fat to burn, but still, like, y'all see my stomach. This might not be a lot to people, but y'all see. Look, it's this, and it's this. Like, it's not a lot to other people, but to me, it's a lot. Like, I know what I'm capable of, so I'm just trying to... I'm not the type of person that try a lot of stuff, so don't expect me to be trying a lot of stuff. But this is something I did want to try. I heard so many good things about it, but I'm... I was thinking about trying it today, but I don't think I am. I'll probably just start it tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is document, like, each week how I'm looking. So, the first day I take this, I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to take a picture before I take this of how I look, my stomach and stuff. And then I'm going to take a picture probably every week I'm going to take a picture. And I'm going to, you know, go like that to see. But yeah so i'm i'm excited i'm real excited they say it's in what's in here is organic wheat, wheat grass barley grass kale spinach celery broccoli uh kiwi fruit see and the thing is a lot of people say that they like this because of the not so grassy taste so if I taste any type of grassy taste, if it's gritty, I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be real mad. But I have to come back on here and show y'all that But my package got here. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. But I will show y'all whenever I do taste it. Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. It is test day. As y'all can see, I am in a good mood because I know God going to he gonna show out today i just know he is um but i'm headed to school right now i have to be at the school for 12 30 it is like 11 58 right now so i'm headed to school right now i just i ate some um leftover spaghetti from dinner last night just to have something on my stomach drunk some water i'm listening to my gospel music and yeah i'm excited about this exam like i said before don't know why i'm excited but hey y'all i've been studying okay i've been studying like crazy I have literally been putting in so much work. So now, like, I, I put in my journal this morning. I said, 
I've been like I prayed to God I was like Lord you see what I've been doing you see that I actually been studying actually been putting in the work and now I'm giving the rest to you because we tend, I know I said this in a previous vlog before um, some I think some months back but we tend to you know pray to God and expect him to just make a whole you know 360 of like a grade or something like that and something we're praying for and we expect like we think we don't have to put no put it in no work no faith without work is dead so you have to put in the work have the faith and put the rest in god's hands so that's what i'm doing today um i'm going in positive and we're gonna rock this we're gonna rock this exam we're gonna kick it, kick it in the butt okay so i'll catch y'all after my exam to let y'all know how everything went hey y'all so as y'all can see i'm happy I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but I'm happy because my test went really well. Oh, hold on. My test went really, really well. When I tell y'all I study, I think I can, y'all probably can hear me. When I tell y'all my studying really paid off, your girl passed her test. Her first med surge. You hear me, med surge. I, I passed my first med surge exam. I passed it with an 80. Oh my God. Right when I'm trying to give. I passed it with an 89.5. Mad surge, y'all. First exam. We setting the bar high. Like real high. And that's not even my final grade because she said she has to go in and, you know, do item analysis and stuff like that. And then also we had like short answers, math, like dosage calc math uh, problems on there that wasn't even calculating in the score. So. I'm most likely going to be walking away with an A. Y'all. Y'all. Like, oh my God. Like, I'm, y'all, I'm grateful to God. Like, seriously. Seriously, seriously, seriously. I am happy. Like, as y'all can see, I'm glowing. Like, I got met with my previous semester, previous semester, previous professor from last semester. And she was like, you have a glow on you. Like, you look happy. And I'm like, I am happy because it's like, you go through stuff and God will literally change that whole situation around. Like, yeah, we may go through different obstacles, different, you know, things in life. But once we get out of that, share that testimony and we move on from that, it's like I'm I'm on to bigger and better things now. And I can just feel I was just telling, I was telling my parents and my family, I was like, I can just see God, you know, working with me and giving me the peace and like just holding my hand throughout this process because when i tell y'all like y'all saw how i was acting this morning i said i'm very calm i have peace like i'm not nervous none of that and i think it's because well i know it's because god was holding my hand telling me he got me and like i always say he did not bring me this far to leave me so first exam of semester four we're done with it and I have another exam for community coming up Monday. So I'm going to start, you know, working on that. But I'm just happy. I'm just grateful, y'all. I'm just turnt. Like, don't play with me, period. But I'm about to go ahead and head home and then head to the gym. Um, well, head to the gym. And then I'm going to relax for a little bit. And I might start on my study guide for community. Um, like I said, my community exam is on what day? Monday. So I want to go ahead and start on that study guide. If I don't get to it today, it's cool because that exam was a lot. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and most likely start it for like start on start on it tomorrow. But other than that, I just want to come on here and tell y'all, your girl passed her exam. Passed her exam. Period. Okay. My um, iPad so that I can always like scratch out and stuff like that hey y'all so as y'all can see and as y'all just previously saw i am sitting here editing my video my vlog um so i can go ahead and release this vlog for y'all because i missed this past weekend because i was trying to study for my exam and it was worth it it was really worth it and my face is glowing don't play with me but i went to the gym already i had a good workout I couldn't record because y'all, it was so many people there. I didn't get there until like 3.40 going on 4 o'clock. And y'all already know, once it hit 4, 5, 6, 7, those people that work, they rushing in. So 
I wouldn't even try to record because I don't want to get nobody in the camera, in the video and all like that. So I was like, you know what, let me just put my music on and just work out. Today I did upper body. So your girl is like, but anyways, um, I wanted to get on here. Well, I wanted to come on here and talk about how I prepare for today's exam. I know I'm going to get a lot of questions, a lot, a lot, a lot of questions because y'all do be uh, commenting down below my in my videos asking how do I study. And like, I want to make study videos, but I just want to make sure that it's worth it. Like it's working what I'm um like what I'm doing and I want to give the wrong information. So for my exam for med search, I asked around to like so many people. If you follow me on Instagram, I did a poll of um, asking everyone how did they approach the class and all like that. Like I <clears throat> I did even on my first um, in my first week of school for this semester, I watched Register Nurse RN to see like how to approach a class. I looked on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all that. So basically everyone was saying the same thing when it came to that um, of making like concept maps or if you don't make concept maps, type it out. Or if you don't want to type it out, write it out of basically grouping the diseases together. And whenever you group the disease together, Say you're doing a concept map, you group it, say say if we're going over HIV, because that was one I did um, for this exam. I'm and I showed y'all in a previous vlog uh of me of my concept map. Yeah. I showed y'all I did like HIV in the middle. I put what it was or what it is that I did the path though, making sure I knew the path though. When I tell y'all I broke it down and I watched so many videos when it came to the path though, because I knew if I messed up and did not know the path though. I couldn't get anything else. Anything else, like everything else wouldn't make sense to me. So I made sure I knew the path though. Then I went into like the risk factors, the causes, clinical manifestations, the diagnostics, uh, the labs, uh, treatment, nursing education, nursing implement, uh, implementations or interventions, all of that. And when I tell you that really helped me when it came to these disorders and diseases, when I, when I tell you I was, I thought somebody was outside. When I tell y'all during my exam, if you would have seen my paper, so they give us like scratch paper and I'm pretty sure a lot of schools do it because I know NCLEX do it. They give you a scratch paper, calculator, pencil, and then earbuds and stuff like that. Um, My whole like paper was filled with so many notes of me just like going through the question. And as soon as I see a concept or as soon, soon as I see like a disorder or a disease, I'm writing everything I know about that disease so that I won't have like a brain fart or go blind it in my brain so that to where I can't remember anything. So that was one way I studied. I did concept maps and then like towards the end of my studying, I didn't like I like I said, I did concept maps and then I moved on into just like typing out my stuff, but I still made sure that I knew the path though. The path though, you have to know it. <laughs> There's no way around it, like at all. So um, I made a whole playlist of the med search videos I watched that helped me. I'm trying to do it every single semester so that it can help y'all out. But I, it's a lot of videos in there. It's Register Nurse RN, it's Simple Nursing, it's Live Up RN, it's Professor D on the, all the topics that was on my first exam that may be on your exams. I'm pretty sure we all learn the same thing. So that may be on your exams that you can go through it and you know watch it because those are the videos that really helped me and stuff like that so um what else i did was my professor gave us a um blueprint also known as a study guide i know somebody gonna ask what is that it's a study guide um and what i did was soon as she released that study guide i got on it and it's not that i waited until she released the study guide to start studying no i prepared myself before even looking at the study guide so the days before the week before or whatever I would go in my textbook. We have module summaries that is on our specific YouTube that we're, you know, subscribed to or whatever, or that we can go like for my blackboard, we can go to the YouTube channel or whatever. Um, I will watch that module summary of the professor and follow along with her in the book. And it just so happened that I'm grateful that what she says is in the book. Like it's, it's PowerPoints that we don't have physically, but she has it on her videos to where it matches the book exactly. When I t say tell y'all it's to the T, it's to the T. 
So whatever she says and whatever she goes on over in that video, I, I'm like, okay, that has to be important. So it's kind of like your learning objectives. I know a lot of people take notes from their learning objectives. It's kind of the same thing. Like it's just specific things that she go over or learn objectives that you see on your blackboard, your canvas, all like that. Use that to, you know, guide you in ta on taking your notes, like in taking your notes. So I did that. I'll watch the video, the module summary, have the book right next to me. And I'm when she's talking, I'm highlighting. Then whenever like she go over that specific topic, I'm going to pause the video, read that specific section, uh, put the word, like put the text in my own words, type it out, and then I'll move on. So I'll watch the whole video um, because the whole video goes over different chapters for that week which is called our module summaries um so yeah so that's what i did and by the end of the week i wanted to make sure that i was done watching that video if it's like 43 minutes i'm gonna make sure i watch that video i don't watch it all in one day because it's different chapters so she's only taking out the most important stuff that we need to know um and posting it in that video and so um I might do like two chapters a day or a chapter a day, depending on my workload for that week. And I would go ahead and type out my notes and then move on from there. But I will make sure that I'm on myself and make sure that I plan out my week properly and correctly so that I can be finished with those module summaries and have watched all of the, like watched the full video, read through all of the um, chapter readings and make sure I was like done with everything that Thursday so that I can go ahead and transfer my Google Doc that I typed out for all of my notes, transfer that Google Doc and download it to my iPad. That's when my iPad come into play because my iPad, y'all can take my iPad anywhere and I don't have to worry about any internet, anything like that because my notes is downloaded. I use good notes. I know somebody's gonna ask me. Um, I download my Google Doc to my iPad to good notes and then from there i'm able to highlight right on it and all like that so i'm reading those notes throughout the whole entire weekend so from thursday night friday saturday sunday i'm reading that and then come monday i'm starting off for the next week so that's why i said i was able to go ahead and have that background knowledge when it came to my um study guide to where i wasn't you know just going based off of what she said i still knew the stuff that wasn't even on the test or wasn't even on the study guide just so whenever i take my exit hesse and you know not my exit hesse when i take my hesse for the end of the semester and even NCLEX and just in general for um you know being, like being a nurse you want to know that stuff so once i did that then that's when she released the um the study guide once i got the study guide i started filling it all out and i was able to go ahead and fill out as much as I knew without looking at my notes, without looking at the textbook, I wanted to make sure I knew at least some stuff. And then I would go in and fill in, looking at the textbook, you know, looking at the um, the notes I had from the <clears throat> module summary, excuse me. And I would make my study guide as detailed as possible. Like if you look at it, it is so detailed. Even if it's extra stuff in there, I don't care. It's it's best to have extra stuff and not have, than not have enough. So, I mean, yeah. So that's how I approached the class um, and approached this, um, excuse me, approached this exam that I took today. And I also did practice questions. So after each concept, after each, each disorder, disease, I will do um, practice questions on those um, specific disorders and diseases. Uh, I know someone's going to ask me, I use UWorld. I use, um, what was it, UWorld? Oh, what's the other one? It just slipped my brain. Oh my God, let me see if I can find it on my computer. I do not remember it, hold on. Okay, yeah, you world and I use your best grade. Um, those are good. Specifically, you world is really, really good. And <clears throat> whenever it comes to, you know, different topics, it's very, very good. But yeah, that's how I really approach the class. I'm just, you know, taking it one step at a time and seeing what works for me. So I see right now that is something that actually works for me. I'm going to continue to build on that um, when it comes to different tests and exams and stuff like that. So I hope that was very helpful. <laughs> I hope so. I don't know how other programs do it when it comes to if they give you study guides and if they don't. 
my preference is if they don't give study guides and i use this in other classes um before you can use your learning objectives or your learning outcomes that's at the be uh, beginning of the chapter you can use those oh y'all you can use those and um that will help you guide your notes so whatever is like asking you or what, whatever the bully po bullet point says then you can go to that specific section and go from there and take your notes read from there because there's no there's absolutely no way you're going to read every single word in the book and i'm not this is a disclaimer i am not saying don't read your book because i read my book <laughs> i just didn't read every single word that was in a book from front to back i tried to for the first few chapters it took me two days no i'm not doing that so um if they don't give you study guides just um you can go on your syllabus and see what they want y'all to know whenever it comes to the different topics you can go from there. Um, I'm trying to think what else you can do. Learn outcomes and make a study guide out of that. That works a lot for many people. It worked for me too. So I hope this is very helpful. I know this is a long portion of the vlog. I want to go ahead and like put this into the vlog because I know it's going to be a lot of questions that I get. If y'all have any more questions, you already know. Put in the comments down below. DM me on Instagram. I'm going to try to answer your questions. Y'all have to understand, I'm busy with school, so if I don't respond, it's because I'm having a week or I'm just, like, trying to stay on top of everything. But whenever I do respond, that means I have a little time on my hands and I'm able to respond to everybody. So, yeah, I hope that was helpful. I'm going to continue to edit this video so that I can get it out for y'all. And I'm going to call it a night because it's 7.13. I don't want to be on my computer all night. I'm trying to go ahead and relax because tomorrow it's time to get back to it, get back to work. So I'll catch y'all later on. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow whenever I get up and wake up and all like that. So I'll catch y'all tomorrow. I hope that was helpful. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Um, today is a new day. What is it on my lip? Um, today is a new day and I am feeling good. I am ready to conquer the day. Today, I, I just plan on working on my community class study guide for my exam Monday, finishing that out, and then doing some assignments today. Um, so it's a stay at home day today, but we still got to be productive because we still want to be high on starting off the semester right. So I'm going to show y'all a little bit of what I do today. Um, it's not going to be a long portion of like a clip or anything dealing with today because like I say, it's just a study day for me trying to get all this day, all this stuff together. So I'll catch y'all later, later on whenever I am doing something else, if I do do anything else, but other than that, that's what I'm doing today. Oh, and also I'm going to try that, um, the oxy green thing that I showed y'all. Hopefully I can find some batteries so that I can use my frother, but I'm going to show y'all how it is. Like, I'm going to give y'all a real, like a real video of me trying it so y'all can really get my reaction because if it's i'm telling y'all if it's nasty i'm writing a bad review because they're lying but hopefully it's not grassy or have it like bitter taste so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get back with y'all later on whenever i do oh, try so it's it. about that time to go ahead and open this up okay okay i'm kind of excited for it i'm kind of excited all i know is it, it better be good that's all i know that's some water Say 12 ounces. This 16. How do I know if it's 12? I'm not. I'm not about to sit here and try to. So that's 16. I don't know. Let's see how it smells. Hopefully, I'll make a mess. I feel official. <laughs> ah! smell the celery I think that should be enough that should be enough okay so it says makes one scoop one scoop 
I'm trying to be like how them TikTok can be. Let me turn it. Yeah, I'm scared I'm gonna mess this part up. Like, right. yeah, I see it's working. Yeah, I see. What? Let me get a spoon so I can just like slurp it. I don't want to. Mm mm, it's still greedy. Look at that. I hope it'll make my teeth my teeth green. Okay. Is it still greedy at the bottom? Yeah, I'm lucky scared. <laughs> Cause I know how I get. Like I end up throwing up. Let me, let me just prepare myself. Okay. Have smelled it first. Three, two, one. They fail to be drink to drink this because this is nasty. You know, how, ugh. You know how like some they try to make something taste good, but you can. I, okay, I'm. Let me tell y'all this. I don't taste none of the greens in there, but the strawberry and margarita. I don't think they know what strawberry <laughs> tastes like because this don't taste. It don't even taste fruity. Like when you think strawberry, you would think it tastes fruity. And look at me, I just wasted all this water. Let me try to taste it again. Because maybe I just had a bad taste. Maybe if I just chug it. <laughs> Do that either. Oh, uh -uh, I waste my money. Let me just. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but this wasn't it. Mm -mm, this one it. And I thought I was really on to something. I thought I was about to put y'all on the phone, but yeah, I came. Uh uh. I can just, mm -mm, mm -mm. so I'm sorry that, <laughs> that I couldn't put y'all onto this, but this wasn't, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. And I was, I was looking really excited about it. Maybe I got a wrong, like the wrong flavor. I don't know, but still, I don't want to sit there and waste my time trying to, mm -mm, I'm going to throw this out because this is, it's nasty to me. If y'all tried another flavor, like the pineapple flavor or the forest berry. I already know the forest berry nasty because anything berry to me is like, ugh. but if y'all tried that and y'all like it, let me know. But with this, I I don't like it. I also posted on my TikTok and Instagram study tips that I did for my um my med search exam. I already told y'all, but that still give you a reason to go over there and on my TikTok and Instagram to follow me. If you're not following me, I don't know what you're doing. You're not real if you're not following me. But let me go ahead and clean all this up. I need something. I need to put something in my mouth because this ain't it. I need something to eat because it's making my food. Hey, you guys. Happy Thursday. Um, I'm about to try this drink again. That powder I showed y'all yesterday. I'm going to try to do it one more time because I don't want to waste my money. This was, I think, 20 either $25 or 30 I can't remember. But anyways, 
I'm gonna try it again, but I'm not gonna put that much in there. I'm just gonna put so much that I can just chug it really quick because I wanna actually see if it works and then I don't wanna waste my money. So I'm about to try that really quick and then I'm gonna fix me some coffee and then possibly like either eat me some oatmeal or toast, something like that. It is 9-12 right now. Um, on today's agenda, what I wanna do is go through my study guide and all of that for my community exam that is on Monday. And then I wanna go ahead and knock out some assignments. So like a discussion board, a case study, a HESI case study, respond to people on, dis on the discussion board, do that. And then um, I'm gonna see like what time that's gonna be. Well, what time I'm gonna be finished with all of that. Then um, I'm gonna, you know, fit in the, um, I'm gonna fit in the gym today also. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna see what time it is. And if I have enough time and energy, I'm gonna go ahead and start my readings for med search. Um, if I'm not, you know, up to parts where I'm not feeling it right now, I'm gonna just move it to tomorrow. Because yesterday I really didn't have that much of a productive day because I think my brain was very tired from my exam on Tuesday and clinical on Monday. So like I said, I'm trying to listen to my body this semester. Um, but yeah, so after all of that, I'm gonna look at my notes again tonight. Since my exam is so close, I wanna make sure that I know all the information. And yeah, so let me go ahead and try to try to drink one more time. I'm gonna come back on camera and let y'all know if I did or not. I don't wanna show y'all again because, mm -mm. Um, But yeah, so that's what we have planned for today. <music> so as y'all can see i chugged it um i didn't have that much in there as y'all can see what that line was that's how much i had in there i i don't know if that was 12 ounces it should still get the job done um but like i said i chugged it y'all i just like gloped it down like chugged it like real quick um the aftertaste is not it's nothing it's not no aftertaste i'm gonna say that it's just more of whenever you're drinking it it's I don't know like it I don't know but it wasn't too bad I feel like once I started doing it every day then my body and my taste buds will get used to it hopefully um maybe yesterday I had strawberry margarita in my head and it don't taste nothing like strawberry margarita it just tastes like you can tell it's a powder um but it depends on how much you blend it <laughs> with your frother then um it won't be as greedy like you know but i'm just happy i checked it for the day <laughs> and now i'm about to go ahead and make me some coffee and then i'm gonna eat me some oatmeal and some toast so probably some fruit i don't know i'm gonna see you uh, <laughs> later on in the day it's 6 27 when I'm 6 30 and I have been doing work all day right now I'm currently uploading my blog for this weekend it's uploading to my YouTube right now um while that's uploading I'm also working on a history case study for my med search class and yeah so I also wanted to go come on here and tell y'all I forgot to tell y'all on Tuesday I actually made a med search playlist I don't know if y'all seen it yet but all of the stuff, like all of the videos that helped me out for my um, first exam and even like, you know, moving forward for my other exams or whenever, whatever we're studying, I go ahead and upload that. Well, not upload it. I save it to that playlist. So I'm going to try to do that every single semester. Um, I did a few for foundations, but I have a lot right now in there for med search from uh, Registered Nurse RN, Simple Nursing, Level Bar in Professor D, 
all the videos that helped me i put in that playlist for y'all um so i hope y'all enjoy that and appreciate that um so i just want to come back on camera and tell y'all that because it totally slipped my mind but i'm about to go ahead and finish uploading this it says 20 i have 21 minutes left and then i'm about to go ahead and knock out this case study i might go ahead and do my module quiz because tomorrow i have i have a lot to do i need to um study for my community exam which i've done today already i need to do it again before i go to bed tonight so study for my community exam i need to um start reading for my med search class because y'all i've been i don't know i've been out of it because i'm tired um but i need to go ahead and start reading for it that i'm kind of behind a little bit but it was because of our, of our exam on tuesday but i'm gonna catch back up y'all i'm gonna catch back up and put y'all down and then i need to um what else i need to do i have a meeting a sna meeting at 12 20 i believe either yeah 12 20 and then i have my review for my community exam that's on monday i have their review at 11 a.m they just notified us and then i have um what else i have to do we have our med search tutoring that starts tomorrow i'm trying to see if i'm going to go on campus to actually you know be there because they're only doing it in person and that's from two to four and then i have to do a discussion board for my arts and science class um i already completed my discussion board and case study for my community class today but i just went ahead and just added that to tomorrow my arts and science class because i don't feel like doing it right now um and then study for community of course and then tomorrow night i'm gonna be with my man y'all we supposed to be uh like having like a doing like a bake night so where we uh like making like actually making hands like for real hand making um a pizza so that should be fun a cute little date night nothing you know expensive or anything like that so that should be fun i'm you know i'm very excited about that so but yeah i'm about to go ahead and knock this out so i can just chill for the rest of the night because y'all i've been i've been lagging i i feel like i'm very sleep deprived like for real um but yeah so 6 30 now so let me go ahead and finish all of this up so i can be on the couch relaxing and watch some youtube and watch um uh what is it called uh marriage i forgot the name of it marriage something huntsville i have to catch up because i didn't get to watch it on sunday so i have to go ahead and watch that too but i'll probably most likely catch y'all tomorrow whenever i'm getting stuff done
just for memories for, uh, for us. So, yeah, that's what I got planned on, planned for today. I, like I said, I wanted to go work out, but by the time I get out, I mean, get done with school and coming home from school, I'm going to hit traffic, so that's going to push back the time. And then you already know, after a certain time at the gym, you have those work folks that's, they get off of work and they call the machines. So I don't have time for that today. So I'm going to just try again tomorrow. Um, because, like, tomorrow I want to just study for my community exam and enjoy the rest of the day. I don't want to do no assignments, none of that. So that's what I have planned on for today and have planned for today. Um, Y'all, I took, I drunk the, uh, the Oxy Greens this morning. I can still taste a little bit, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, so this is my what third day in a row because I did it yesterday. I did it the day before that. Did I do it the day before that? I don't know, but it's either my second or third day in a row. I'm trying to get my body used to it. But since these trucks is loud and all that, I'm gonna catch y'all later on. I'll probably show y'all my friends. I'll see because we all gonna be up there today. I'm super excited about that too. So yeah, let me just go ahead and continue to drive and I'll catch y'all later on today once I get in some more stuff. Y'all look who I'm with. Ah. <laughs> 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 mentally strain you it physically strain you so now i gotta put my glasses on because oh my god it's bad like look at that oh. like it's bad i already washed my hands by the way i don't mind when my glasses but like i said it be hurting y'all it really hurts so maybe if i take this off first Oof. Looks like I'm gonna be wearing my glasses for a few. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's red. Let me try to put the camera around. So I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's extremely red. Let me take my glasses off so y'all can see what I'm talking about. So can y'all see it? Like it's red. Like y'all can tell the difference right here. It's definitely red. Uh, one thing after another. So. I'm about to wear my glasses now because I, oop, I can't see and I need this to get better. So I'm about to go hang out with my boyfriend now. We're about to get something to eat and then chill for the rest of the night. So I most likely catch out tomorrow. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. It is, let me see what time it is. 9:25. Um, about to head to the gym. Like I said, I have my glasses on because I'm trying to fix my eye. <laughs> when I going to the eye doctor, I'm trying to fix my because I already know it's strained because of um, studying. So I just need to implement wearing my glasses when I'm looking at my computer screen, looking at my iPad, all of that. Whenever I'm studying, I need to implement wearing my glasses. But I'm trying to get rid of the redness. It's getting better. As if y'all can tell, it's getting better um, than it was last night when I showed y'all. See, y'all can tell. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and wear my glasses for the rest of the weekend and see like how it looks come Monday or Tuesday or something like that. Um, so I'd wear my glasses to the gym. Never wore my glasses to the gym ever. So I already know they're about to be like down here when I'm working out. That's gonna it's gonna frustrate me, but it's okay. Um, I'm about to go in, go to the gym, get a quick full body workout in. I'm trying to get in, get out, then come back home. I'm gonna study for a few hours and then um enjoy the rest of the day to myself. I plan on coming back. I should be back home by 10 30, 11, and then to where I can study from like eleven forty five to like 
2, 11, 12. Yeah, to like 2. And then go with my boyfriend afterwards and we hang out. Um, but yeah, so that's what I have planned for today. I'm studying for my community exam. I was going to go ahead and continue to read <clears throat> for med search, but my professor sent out a, um, a mass email. She was like, since y'all have a community exam this week, make that your priority. Make that y'all priority and start looking at the blueprint and uh, chapter readings come Monday after your community exam. So I'm glad I have a professor, professor like that because, you know, some professors, they don't care. They're like, hey, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. But um, so I'm going to just follow her lead because I know that's going to be a lot for me to try to study for community and try to read a chapter um, for message. It's doable, but this is our first exam. And she was trying to tell us, since it's your first exam, try to start off high and not use it as like a rough draft. Like I keep saying, everybody say use it as a rough draft. I personally don't like doing that. I know I was saying that before in my other semesters, but I like to start off high now so that I'm not trying to play catch up at the end of the semester. So that's what I have planned for today. I'm about to go ahead and head to the gym. Hopefully it's not crowded because I, I'm not trying to be around a lot of people. <laughs> so hopefully it's not crowded and we go ahead and get this workout in, come back home and shower, start studying and I'll catch you later. Actually, I need to go take my, um, drink my, my green, what is it called? Green juice. Yeah. Uh, I had to go chug that real quick because I'm on a, I'm on a little you know I'm on a little journey trying to get this get this in um of me drinking this and I I'm not trying to waste my money that's the main that's the main thing I'm trying not to waste my money um so let me go ahead and make this <clears throat> and then I'll put, where's my thing my connecting piece oh, okay let me go ahead and make this chug it and. I catch I catch y'all later on whenever I am doing something. I might try to record at the gym. I don't know, depending on how many people there. So if I come back on here and y'all don't see no clips from the gym, it's because it was too crowded. So <laughs> We got all our stuff right here. We about to make pizza. I'm gonna sit y'all up. Oh, we got we gonna make pizza and then also um, what you call cookies with ice cream on top. We went to Target. I did some like shopping for me and then we went to Walmart to get the rest of the stuff. I'm about to lay everything out and I'm gonna sit y'all up. Um, I'm not gonna show y'all everything because I mean this is like a date for us. So I'm gonna just sit y'all up and I'm gonna capture what I can. Got my glasses still on because my eye, I think it's getting better a little bit. But yeah, with my baby tonight. Yeah, we got matching shirts on. She wants to be like me, but. All right, I'm gonna catch y'all later on. We're gonna do a little time lapse. <laughs> no, for I'm gonna catch y'all later on. I'm gonna do a little time lapse of everything and show y'all what we got to do.
so we just finished the pizza. That pizza look. Ooh, do y'all see that? We did that. Don't play with us. So we're about to go ahead and eat this pizza, and I most likely catch y'all tomorrow because I'm about to hang my man. So I catch y'all tomorrow. Um, wait, no, no, I'm not, because today is Saturday. So let me go ahead and close out the video. Thank you so. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching my video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, leave a comment. I'm here for the weekly vlogs. I'm trying to post more videos for y'all, so be on the lookout for more weekly vlogs. And if y'all want other videos, just let me know. Um, I other have, I have, mm, I have other videos in mind. <laughs> but if y'all have any ideas that y'all would like to see, just let me know. So I hope to see y'all in my next video. I love y'all as always. I love y'all as always and I'll see y'all